Hi, this is RC. Just want to talk about how to be able to create this kind of effect that we wind up having here. Notice that we wind up having a type layer, and in this type layer, I have the option to be able to change it and show an image directly underneath it. So it, the image is kind of snapped within the confines of the type layer. That's what we wind up calling a clipping mask, and I want to be able to take a couple of minutes to be able to show you how to be able to get that kind of effect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to close this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a uh, just the image that I'm going to be using, and we'll take a look at it from there. So let's take a look. Here I have this image of the red rocks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this background layer by double clicking and I'm going to create a new solid color fill layer. I'll fill it with black and I'll click OK. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag that under there. I'm just going to double click on the name and call it black background. Once we wind up having that, I'll go ahead and I'll double click on this layer and I'll call it red rocks. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to put a layer of type directly over this. So I'm just going to go to my type tool and I'll just type in red rocks. For this I'm using a Portaggio ITC font and it looks like I'm using it at about 231 pixels. However, that's going to vary depending on the size of the image. The size of the image that I'm using now is 850 by 565 around there. So, I'm going to play with the type. Use a type that's a little heavy so that you can wind up seeing the information that sits under it. A really, really thin typeface isn't going to work very well with this. So now that I have the type, what I want to do is I'll usually like select the type and I'll increase or decrease the type until I can get a good portion of it on the actual screen. Get him the enter key. Now what I want to do here is I want to be able to take the image that's underneath it and show it through the red rocks type. In order for me to be able to do this, however, I have to grab the red rocks I'm just going to double click on this and call this red rocks type. I have to grab the red rocks type layer and drag it underneath the red rocks picture. So it seems a little backwards, but you need to be able to have the type. Once I usually keep it at the top so that I can kind of position it and see where it's going to be. All right, well, it looks good there. Now that I have it there, I'll go ahead and I'll drag it under, and then I'm going to select the image layer. Having the image layer selected, I'll go ahead and click on Layer, and then Create a Clipping Mask. And there you go. Now you have the, l you have the image, but only showing up within the confines of the type almost as if it were a layer mask. The good part about this is that you have the option to be able to go in and change the type however you'd like. You can also go ahead and double click here to the right and you can set up styles as well. Let's say for example if I wanted to give this thing a little bit of a stroke on the outside of it, let's give it some definition, we can go ahead and we can do that. So type warp, all of that kind of stuff stays editable and allows you to be able to work with images within the confines of type in really interesting layouts. My name is RC. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.